FOX NEWS ALERT, MASSIVE PROTESTS HAVE ERUPTED OUTSIDE THE DEPLORABLE HERE IN WASHINGTON. FIRES ARE BEING SET OUTSIDE THE NATIONAL PRESS CLUB. FOX'S GRIFF JENKINS IS ON THE SCENE WITH WHAT'S HAPPENING THERE. GRIFF, WHAT IS HAPPENING? HEY, TUCKER, THAT'S RIGHT. SEVERAL HUNDRED PROTESTERS GATHERED FIRST AT TRUMP HOTEL AND THEY MARCHED THE SEVEN OR EIGHT BLOCKS HERE. WE'RE OUTSIDE THE NATIONAL PRESS CLUB. And you can see the police presence. There are signs thanking President Obama, obviously. It's mostly peaceful now. A fire broke out just behind us. There was a fire over here. We'll show you where that was. That's the ashes now just sort of starting to simmer right in the middle of this. Excuse me one second. Pardon me one second. Very sure. This, uh, this fire was started. In fact, this young man, you were participating in the fire. What's your name? Uh, my name's Carter, and I actually start, kind of started this fire. So why'd you start that fire, Carter? Uh, it's Carter. Sorry, why'd you start that fire? Because I felt like it, and because I'm just uh, saying, screw our president. Okay, well, there you have it. So uh, even young people out here, as well as the traditional activists that are out here, and I'm taking you here. There have been about two or three arrests that we've witnessed, uh, Tucker. We did not witness the tear gas, although we do know there was a little bit of reports of that. Uh, just quickly, Lacey McCauley is the spokeswoman and the one of the lead organizers of Disrupt J20. This group is Disrupt J20, a loose collaborative of multiple groups. This is perhaps Lacey, more of what's to come tomorrow on the eve of the inauguration. Why are you here and why are you doing this? Uh, well, uh, we're here basically at the very start of the weekend of Disrupt J20, the, uh, the weekend that Trump takes office, to remind everybody that actually um, what's behind us up there in the National Press Club ballroom is actually uh, they are completely part of Trump. They're part and parcel. Uh, we're seeing uh, up there in the ballroom Nazis, the same groups that actually you saw last uh, year doing Nazi salutes. Uh, we're seeing these so-called alt-rights, alt-reich, I call it. Um, and, you know, I think that we have to really be concerned about this dangerous direction that our country is going in. Let me ask you, Lacey, and you may hear Tucker over uh, our, our shoulders shouting, booing. They're booing the people going to the ball. Lacey, what about the peaceful transition of power, regardless who has won? Donald Trump has won the election, but you seem to be trying to resist it. Quickly in 10 seconds, why? It doesn't matter who won or lost. When you come for our communities, when you come for us, and when you try to violate our rights, we will resist. All right, they're going to resist. Back to you, Tucker. So I can't believe you interviewed a little kid who set a fire. I, I don't know if that was real or not, but that was horrifying. Griff, thanks.